2008-2009 UEFA Champions League quarter-final was the fifth successive season that the two teams had faced each other in European competition. The tie looked over after Chelsea's 3-1 victory at Anfield in the first leg. However, the quick thinking of Brazilian defender Fabio Aurelio to free kick struck the Liverpool fight back in the second leg. Liverpool's tenacity almost paid off. The visitors doubled their advantage just before the half-hour mark and the lead changed hands several times in what was a thrilling game. Aurelio, who had predicted an epic showdown at Stamford Bridge, was proved to be correct. His goal was the first of four scored by Liverpool who eventually lost out by an aggregate score of 7-5. It was, though, a memorable moment for the versatile Brazilian in his third season with the Reds. The venue was the Estadio do Dragão. The match was a second leg quarter-final in the 2008-2009 UEFA Champions League between Porto and Manchester United. And the difference is Cristiano Ronaldo. 2-2 from the first leg. United faced an uphill task to reach the semi-finals. It was never going to be an easy job in front of a partisan crowd at the home of the Portuguese League champions. But former sporting player Ronaldo seemed to want to teach his old adversaries a lesson as well as see his current team through to the penultimate round of the Champions League. Ronaldo's shot gave United an advantage that they held on to until the final whistle. A major factor in Manchester United's run to the last four in the 2008-2009 UEFA Champions League was Cristiano Ronaldo. Three minutes after United had opened the scoring, Ronaldo hit a pile driver free kick from distance to give the visitors a two-goal cushion in the semi-final second leg against Arsenal. United already had a 1-0 advantage from the first leg at Old Trafford and were looking good to reach their second successive final. Ronaldo was at his brilliant best with the free kick that dipped and swerved beyond Manuel Armunia. Ronaldo's second half goal further increased United's advantage. They won 4-1 on aggregate and had earned the chance to defend their trophy against Barcelona in Rome. The 2008-2009 UEFA Champions League semi-final second leg between Chelsea FC and FC Barcelona couldn't have been more finely balanced. After a goal as first leg of the Camp Nou, the deadlock was broken after eight minutes by Chelsea's Michael Essien. The Ghanaian international had become a key figure at Stamford Bridge and this scorching volley showed why he was so important. One nil to Chelsea as the clock ticked down and it looked as if Essien's goal had been enough to see them through to their second successive UEFA Champions League final. But three minutes into added time, Barcelona grabbed an away goal and with it a place in the final in Rome. A disappointing end to Chelsea's campaign but certainly a goal to remember from Essien. The UEFA European Under-17 Championship, previously called the Under-16 Championship, was won by Germany in 2009. It was her third title and came as a result of a moment of set-piece brilliance from substitute Florian Trinks. The match played at Stadion Magdeburg was in extra time when Trinks' superb free kick found the Netherlands net and finally settled a finely balanced game. 2-1 and the Werder Bremen youngster had won the trophy for his country. It was his only goal of the tournament, but it was worth the wait. It was Germany's first tournament win at this level since 1992, though incidentally the same year that Florian Trinks was born. Nice. Belarus's first appearance at the UEFA European Under-21 Championship in 2009 saw them take on host Sweden in Malmo. It looked like a tricky encounter on paper, and the Belarusians knew that something special was needed if they were to gain anything from the match. That something came just after the half-hour mark. Sergei Kislyak fired in a fantastic first-time shot that silenced the home crowd. It was certainly the strike of the highest quality. The young midfielder who brought his straight at Dinamo Minsk executed a beautiful curling shot to give Belarus the lead. Sadly, their advantage survived only 60 seconds as Sweden scored three goals before the break. The host eventually went 5-1, but Kislyak's goal was the abiding memory. Kislyak went on to make his debut for the Belarus senior team later in the year. Germany has constantly produced a steady stream of high-quality players through the national youth teams. The 2009 UEFA European Under-21 Championship saw the emergence of Sandro Wagner. 
in the final against England in Malmo. Wagner confirmed Germany's superiority, scoring two goals in the latter stages of the match to give the Germans a 4-0 lead. His second was the goal of the game and left England coach Stuart Pearce with a sinking feeling. With six minutes remaining, Wagner showed great composure as he sidestepped Jack Rodwell before unleashing a right foot strike to give goalkeeper Scott Loach no chance. 4-0 to Germany and that's the way it stayed. It put the seal on a great tournament for both Germany and Sandro Wagner. England's leading women's player Kelly Smith has spent 15 years in the three-line shirt. In a group stage match of the 2009 UEFA European Women's Championship in Finland, Smith collected the clearance from Elena Kochnova and sent the ball back over the goalkeeper from near the halfway line. Russia had taken an early two-goal lead and Smith's goal was a stunning way to complete a remarkable 3-2 comeback. One of the highlights of the 2009 UEFA European Women's Championship final came from midfielder Melanie Berenger. A regular in the German national side, she scored a brilliant goal to help her team to a 6-2 victory. Germany were the hot favourites in the final of the 2009 UEFA European Women's Championship. They were 3-1 up with 51 minutes played. But England striker Kelly Smith